play and call it work. Uh, uh. Mini War Gaming's Warhammer 40k Battle Reports. Hey there, War Gamers, and welcome to another episode of our Warhammer 40k 8th Edition Battle Reports. Today, I have Jeff from Montreal. It's George. It's Jeff. Spelled G E O F F. Is it G E O or G O E F? G E G E O. G E O. I was right. Yeah. I was right. Yeah. The the real way, as you put it earlier, mm -hmm. the proper way of spelling Jeff, Joffrey, is a not very popular name these days. No. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna be playing a two thousand point game of Maelstrom of War. We haven't determined the scenario yet. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Well, after this intro, I suppose. But today you have a treat because you have the brand new Death Guard versus Salamanders. Well, it's your own personal chapter. Do you have a name for them? Uh, I call them Scions of No One. Scions of No One. Yeah, so they could, they kind of collect from all sorts of Space Marine chapters. Okay. They're sort of renegade. And you're yeah. playing with Salamanders today. Yeah, so they just get to choose. I mean, that's fair. That's the, that's the benefit of having your own Space Marine chapter. You always just play them however you want. It's a successor chapter of anything, essentially. But it will be Death Guard versus Salamanders. 2,000 point battle, males from a war. And I'm bringing Mortarian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying him out. I, we both have very elite lists, very low model count on both sides of the table for this game. But let's go check out the armies and the table and determine, well, a males from a war scenario, I suppose. 2,000 points of brand new Death Guard Battalion Detachment just for you guys. So a very elite force this time around. Today you're looking at, for the troops, two of them. We have a Chaos Lord, and I'm playing him in Terminator Armor. He's going to have the Bubotic Axe Plasma Pistol. we got a Malignant Playcaster right beside him. The Playcaster is going to have the, oh, Miasma Pestilence and the Plus One Strength and Toughness spell. I can't remember what it is. That's the one he's going to have, though. Anyways, for troops, three squads of Plague Marines, one of nine. Double plasma rifle, plasma pistol power fist on the sergeant. Over here we got double, and these are the exact same, double plasma rifle on each. And the sergeant's got bail swords and plasma pistols. For elites, we have two noxious blight bringers. And we have a new squad of the blight lord terminators. They're essentially chaos, very expensive chaos terminators, but they have uh, cataphracty armor, so they have a 4 from vulnerable save and their toughness 5. Big difference. So they got the plague axes, and they're gonna have uh, all combi plasma, except the one guy over here is gonna be taking a Reaper auto cannon just because, well, WYSIWYG, and he can take it, so might as well. Over here for fast attack, we have two blow drones with plague spitters, I believe they're called, so the double flamers, the double plague weapon flamers. We don't have any other um, kit outs yet, so stuck using them for now, which is fine. They're, they're definitely not bad. And of course, I brought myself a rhino to carry some plague marines in. Big surprise, it's probably gonna be these guys. The Rhino's got a Kami Flamer and a Havoc Launcher. And finally, the main piece, Mortarian. Get a little bit closer, you guys can appreciate the paint job Lee has done for us here. He spent the entire weekend painting this guy. It was more fun for him than work, I would imagine. Uh, he, of course, went with the old Death Guard color scheme, the, the white on, well, the white, the main white. Other than that, I plan on painting any new Death Guard stuff we get all on that steam as well to match him. Now he's got his furnace, he's got the phosphex grenades, he's got silence, he's got a whole bunch of built-in special rules as we'll go through out the game. Now if you guys want more detail on these armies, there's always a pre-game show. You can click on the link below to get a much, much more detailed description of what we brought in the armies and what they do and why we brought them. Here we have 2,000 point battalion detachment of Salamander chapter Space Marines. Now they're your own, they're your own custom chapter, but you're playing them as Salamander today, but I'll let you take it away from here. Okay, so starting over here on the left, uh, I've got the two squads of bikers, one's got Meltas, one's got Flamers. Easy. Um, I've got the Razorback here, it's got a Stormbolter and a twin Las Cannon. Uh, two squads of Stern Guard, all with the special issue stuff, one sergeant's got a Power Fist. Two drop pods with the Deathwind launchers. Three squads of Tactical Marines, all five-man squads, Plasma Combi. Uh, two commanders, one on a bike. One on foot. Both of them have power fists. This guy's got the master crafted bolt gun. This guy's got the combi melta. Two squads of scouts, uh, snipers and cloaks, and then shotguns. Uh, the devastators back here. Two las cannons, two missile launchers, and uh, cherub. And then I've got the two dreadnoughts. So one venerable dreadnought, twin las, and uh, missile launcher. And then the ironclad with the chain fist, uh, heavy flamer, and melta gun. And finally, the Whirlwind uh, with an extra Storm Bolter and uh, the Vengeance Launcher, I think it's called. The Stronger one. The Stronger Launcher. Yeah. All right. 
And there we go, six six command points to use from, and there we go folks, 2,000 points. The table I have here for you guys today, we are playing Spoils of War, so it's the six markers, Males from a War Mission of course. We have marker number one, marker number two, marker number four, three, five, and I believe that means six is over right here. Right in there. So they're all pretty evenly spread out around the table. Now this is the one where you're allowed to steal the other player's secure objective X markers. Now we're both playing uh, armies that have different 11 to 16s, so it won't come up as much as it normally would. Other than that, there's an, a bonus point at the end of the game too. Whoever, secure, whoever has the most secure objective X objectives uh, accomplished gains one additional victory point in addition to Lion Breaker, First Blood, and Slay the Warlord. Uh, for this one, we set it up as a vanguard, as you can see. We have the dice set up, separating the two deployment zones. I finished deploying the last objective, so I determined the map. I chose this side. Jeff was forced to take that side, so that means he's going to have the first drop. Jeff's first drop is, of course, going to be this drop pod carrying both squads of tactical marines in the uh, low orbit, I believe it's called, something like that. Something deep strike something. Yeah. Deep. First thing I'm going to do is put this Chaos Lord totally in Terminator armor in the teleport strike. <laughs> Next drop pod is going to have the final tactical squad with the, uh, the stern guard? Yeah, stern guard right yeah. in there as well. well. What a surprise, my Blight Lord Terminators are also going to go into the teleport strike chamber. Gun scouts. Shotgun scouts using their concealed positions. Concealed positions. So they're deploying nine inches away from uh, any of my models, which are, are none, and nine inches away from my deployment zone. So perfectly good right there. A fetid bloat drone with its spears right here. Very close to the shotgun scouts to deal with them early if I can. Scout snipers up in the building with their camo cloaks gonna be very hard to get out of that position. I'm gonna put my rhino here and it's gonna have both five man plague marine squads inside of it. Razor back on your left flank and this is gonna have the uh, stern guard inside of it. This is the one with the power fist, the other one, the other squads in the drop pod. My nine man squad of plague marines are gonna go right in the center of my table. Your whirlwind is gonna go right in this neat little parking spot you found here so it doesn't it doesn't need line of sight for its gun so that's a really good spot for him yeah. unless i uh, for, i mean unless i commit more targeting to this side of the table it's probably going to stick around there for the entire game i'm gonna put my plague caster uh i suppose here's a happy spot i gotta check the range on the sniper rifles so that could be well very well very bad spots so maybe over here this is a much safer investment a venerable Dreadnought is going to be in your back lines near objective number two. Let's take a Noxious Blightbringer near the objective, near the Plague Marines. You know, just kind of maybe hold the objective for the majority of the game. We're going to put the Devastator squad in these ruins here. They're all on cover. It's a perfect spot for them, actually, right in the middle of your deployment zone. You can surround them with a bunch of chaff. It might be against my better judgment, but I do believe I actually might need two blow drones on this side of the table. There's not a lot. Oh, man, maybe. I'm actually going to put one over here just in case. Might need the support on that side. Captain, also in the ruins with the Devastators. Six inches away from the Dreadnought, and obviously within six inches of the Devastators. Noxious Blightbringer number two maybe goes here. Uh, sure. <laughs> Melta Bikers on this squad, or sorry, on your left flank, opposite my Rhino and uh, Blow Drone. I think I'm gonna commit more tearing to this left flank. I wanna lock it in over here. I was debating over here, but there are four Plasma Guns and a Bloat Drone. I think we're okay with that. So yeah, Mortarian my left flank. And that's actually going to finalize my deployment that will lock me in for going first unless Jeff has the, or unless Jeff's able to steal the initiative. Now for Jeff's final three drops, Ironclad Dreadnought, the very close common one, in the back lines here, well, really negating the ability for my Blight Lords to deep strike in anywhere in the back lines. Of course, that's a smart move. The Bikers with the Flamers up right in the front lines, and your final drop was your Captain. Yeah. Just in the back there, within six inches of that dreadnought and of the Razorback. So, we go. that's it for deployment. It is now up to Jeff to see if he can steal the initiative. I assume you want to, as yeah. you, oh, your yeah, hand's yeah. getting I'm ready. I'm already rolling this thing. I've, I've been preparing it right. for 10 minutes now. Let's see, what okay. do you got, what do you got? That's hey it. Yo, there All right. we go. So okay. that is uh, Salamander turn one. Do I get? Let's see your, oh you get three. Okay. You get three objectives, let's see what you get. First okay. three, First and again, uh, from my games usually we discard all ones that are impossible, even though they were possible earlier in the game. 
and for the most part, uh, up to our judgment, uh, domination is always discarded as well. Okay, so defend objective two. What's the next one? Next one is witch hunter. That's a kill a psyker. Okay, and secure objective one. It's okay. twenty one though, so yeah. So for secure objective one, right beside your scouts, easy grab for you turn one. Defend objective two, easy grab for you as well. You can hold that for your turn and my turn for those two victory points at the end of my turn. And then to kill a Psyker, well, that's uh, Mortarion and my malignant Plague Caster right on over here. So we're onto the movement phase. All you did for these scouts was just move them ever so slightly closer to get them in range of the objective. Flamer Bikers falling back, essentially swapping spots with the Dreadnought. Uh, they're going to serve its purpose while the Dreadnought is able to get in closer combat. So yeah. Dreadnought is not going to move its... you going to advance or just move it six? Um, Actually advancing it, so we'll move six plus D6. So it'll be one more. Alright, so he's going to... There we go. <laughs> <laughs> the Melta Bikers moving up their 14, is it? Yeah, I'm going to get the 14 inches, taking them very close to my Blow Drone. Awkwardly close, <laughs> you could even say. Drop pod number one coming down near your deployment zone, actually inside of it. So one of the squad of five, the tactical marines actually, this drop pod has the tacticals and the stern guard. The tacticals fell back and went to go hold objective number two, whereas the stern guard went way out in front, holding objective number four, facing down my nine plague marines. And you're going to save your second drop pod. Yes. And use it for later on. Better yeah. deployment. Makes sense. Um, that's going to conclude it for movement and... Uh, you have no psychic, so on to shooting. Yep. Opening up with your stern guard that came out of the drop pod into my plague marines. They're all rapid fire range because they have 30 inch range on the guns. And they're hitting on threes. Or they're hitting on twos. Hitting on threes. Threes, okay. Yeah. Okay. Not and bad. two misses. Salamanders, I get to reroll one. Correct. One miss. All right. Okay. No, no help. Gone. Plague marines are toughness five, so these are going to be five soon with one reroll because they're salamanders. So we have one, two. Two wounds so far with a reroll. Okay. No. Just the two wounds so two. far. And these are special issue bolters, so they are minus two AP. I'm gonna have a five up armor save. I fail both of them. Ooh. Now disgustingly resilient on a five up. Oh, yeah. I ignore these. Oh, I take oh. two. So that's gonna be, we'll say guy in the back with. Oh, they're one wound each. Yes. Okay. They're just Marines that toughness five. Okay. Okay. These three bikers are going to fire everything into the rhino. Okay, so we'll do the boring stuff first. The, so The three Meltas? No, the boring oh, stuff. Oh, okay. The boring stuff. So we're going to take the bolt guns. So, that's, so they're all in rapid fire range? Yeah, so that's actually... I assume uh, they're rapid fire two, correct? They're rapid fire two, so that's four shots a pop. Yeah. So I need... I need. Now these are going to be hitting on threes, and I assume you're not going to use the reroll on bolters. Absolutely not. No. Okay. Okay. Five to my attempt at seven rhino. One, two, Ooh. oh, hey, oh, okay. Four. four. That'll leave me with a three of armor save on my rhino. Failing one, so that's going to put it down to nine wounds. Nine wounds remain on that rhino. And now we have the three melta guns. The good stuff, here we go. All right, three meltas. These are hitting on threes because they're assault weapons. Yep. And you get to reroll one because they're salamander. And Ooh. there's one to reroll. One to reroll. Come on. <laughs> yeah, there you we got go. It. All right, three. so three's to wounded now. Okay. With a reroll. Three oh, wounds. Don't need it. It's minus four AP, so it's just D6 damage each. Okay. So I have no save against that. That's going to be five, six, seven. I'm going to use a command point. Command point reroll. And reroll this one here. So you're looking for a three up. That's it. Done. It does. It, it blows. So you pop with the three meltas. Okay. And now um, I check to see if it blows up on a six. It does not. And now I try and disembark the two squads. Disembarking, emergency disembarking three inches away, not to roll a d6 for every model that came out of that vehicle. On ones, I remove any ones of my choice. So we're losing two. We'll just take one bolter guy from each squad. Actually, ah yeah, I don't want to have to accidentally check for the leadership, yeah. yeah. Then finally we take away the rhino, and that gives you first blood for one victory point for Jeff. Yay! Razorbacks twin last cannon into the bloat drone. The storm bolter is not in range to shoot anything. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because you have captain nearby. Two no needs. And then these are strength eight, or they're actually nine. nine. They're wounding on threes. Threes to wound. What do we got? Two. Two. Wounds. All right, so it's minus three AP. So it's a, it's got a demonic five from Marvel save, so I'll be taking that, making one. One. And now it's um, D six damage. Okay. What do we got? Okay. Oh. One. <laughs> um, I guess you're to use your command point. So yeah. we are going to go with uh, one disgustingly resilient. 
I don't make it. I take one. I think he's down to nine. Okay. Sniper squad atop the building, firing their sniper rifles into this plague marine squad that you took out earlier. Well, that you killed two guys from earlier. So there's going to be four shots, correct? Five. Or is it five? There five. is five. Okay. Five. five shots hitting on threes, re-rolling one of them because they're salamanders. Yeah, I'm not within range of the captain either. All, All hits. hits. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, so these are wounding on fives because they're only strength four, but sixes are mortal wounds in addition. You get to re-roll one because you're a salamander. So we have... Oh, two, two wounds, but they're double sixes, so these are two mortal wounds off the bat. Yeah. So I'll do two three-up saves against the shots, and I make both, but these are two disgustingly resilient saves. Make neither. Oh. That is two more dead. You get disgustingly resilient against mortal wounds, too. Yes. Woof. So, we're down to five of them left. Dreadnought in your back lines, firing across the field, into my bloat drone on my left flank, and you're firing both the twin last cannon and the, just the normal missile launcher. Yep. So, twin last cannon first. Okay, hitting on twos, yes. venerable. And re-rolling ones. Re-rolling ones. Thank you, please. One re-roll. And then these are going to be wounding me on threes. Re-rolling one of them because they're salamander. Yeah. One re-roll. All right, just doesn't I, uh, want to wound, I guess. No, I get I'll get a five of them honorable save against the last cannon. I make it. Ah! No damage. I'm a missile launcher. One shot on a two. Re-rolling. Oh, it hits anyways. And yeah. it's strength eight, so it's wounding on three. This dice has been giving me twos the last few times. Uh oh uh oh one more two. One more two. Oh, oh even worse. Okay. And you, and you already used the tactical reroll. So. Oh, for the wound. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. So no, no dice. No dice from him, but okay. it still has potential later on. For your devastators, both the last cannons and both the uh, missile launchers into my blow drone. One of the last cannons will have the uh, plus one BS shot. So hitting on a two on him. Is on a two. First, you get to reroll once because the captain. Okay. That's a hit. Might as well be the other last cannon. Okay, here it is. On a three, rolling ones, two hits, threes to wound me, and you do get a reroll if you want on one of these dice. Alright, if you want to use the reroll, yep, I'll I take it. Yeah. Alright, two wounds, two five ups. Make one, fail one. D6 damage. Come on, baby. D6 for five. five. Take it. Five disgusting resilience to make here. Saving, ooh, three of them. Three, nicely done. I just take two on him. And now for the two crack missiles. Hit not threes. Okay, Good. double hit. Okay. Wounded on threes. Can I have that again, please? We got two? Sure, yeah. close enough. Minus two on that, so I guess that, in the end, a five up save still. Ah, oh, make one. Fail one, so it's d6 damage. For four. four. All right, disgusting resident, here we go. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, sure, okay. Five of exa like, all exactly what you need, too. That was, uh. The laziest missile. Wow. All right. Whirlwind is not gonna fire into my plague marines with its vengeance vengeance missile launcher yeah ca avenge yeah whirlwind vengeance launcher all right so these are gonna be 2d3 a heavy 2d3 yeah 2d3 shots so we're looking at six hey. all right these are hitting on threes they don't need line of sight so oh boy four wounding me on threes it's rank seven so we do have four give me a four save because it's only minus one Make three of them. These are two damage a pop, so if I want to survive, save this guy, I have to make two disgusting resilience saves. Ah, oh, fail both. Okay, so that will be another good. bolter gone. Okay. That concludes the shooting phase, and by default, not wanting to charge into plague marines. <laughs> that wouldn't make much sense. That's the end of Josh's turn altogether. Jeff. Jeff. Nice turn. You did get it wrong I know. this time. I did get it wrong. I Anyways, you up. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff's turn this time. Ah, uh, that's a devastating turn though. So, blew up my run, got first blood. I kind of just scratch my bloat drones, but I mean you have to start somewhere on them. Mm -hmm. You can't just usually they don't die in one go. It's very rare that they die in one go. Other than that, um, just leaves room for my army to get up closer. These guys got devastated too. They actually have to do a morale check before you end your turn. Yeah. So they lost five. Their bravery, I believe, nine because of the sergeant. I'll double check. D six minus three guys are going to be lost here due to running away. This is bad. I don't want to use the command points on auto passing, but I don't. I'm going to try and roll it and I'll have a command point reroll if I need it. Three, we're good, no nice. one runs. Looking at your objectives, you score objective one. So put that over there. You got two points now because of first blood. This one, you're halfway there. And which hunter, do you want to keep it or get rid of it? Uh, it's doable, because you've got two guys. Oh uh, no, sorry, you've got this guy here more time. Let me keep witch hunter then, all right. Before I decide to do anything, let's take a peek at what I'm going to get. Big Game Hunter, so destroy a unit with 10 or more wounds, which is very possible. Um, namely your drop pods and your Razorback. 
Maybe. Drop pots have ten wounds. Maybe I don't know. I'm guy. Yeah, I'm just my, guessing. My whirlwind and my razorback do. Master sure. the warp. I can do master the warp, and scour the sky. So I have to destroy something that can fly. I have to uh, manifest the psychic power. If I do three or more, I do D three victory points. This is very possible. And big game hunter. Okay, so scratch the drop pots. Now they're only eight wounds. I, I think the are the dreadnoughts only eight wounds as well. Yeah. Okay, so I can only whirlwind and. Uh... The razor back. So, scour the skies actually is not possible. So I'm gonna get rid of that because you have nothing that flies. I'm gonna get defend objective one. I could, I can go for that. I can do that. I think. Right onto my movement phase. Gonna start with my blow drone. Blow drone moves ten inches. Oops, he's gonna lose his wound marker. He's gonna end up right there. J definitely in range to flame these nasty scouts. Plague greens are gonna do a five inch move. They're not gonna advance because there's well. There's no reason to. Or is there? No. No, definitely not. Noxious Blightbringer moving five inches. Keeping up with them. This Malignant Playcaster is going to do the same. Five inches will take him right there. Kind of hide him from the Melta bikes for now, I suppose. Actually, scratch this guy's move. I'm going to put him back there for a second. I might as well run more Tarion first to get the benefit of this guy. So it's roll 2d6, taking the highest for advancing more Tarion. Oh. Three. So he goes three in addition to 12, so he goes no. 15 inches. And then I'll move this guy. Haha, <laughs> big cheater pants over here. 15 inches up the board is gonna, well, put Martarian right beside those barrels. Still out of threat range, really. He's not gonna be able to do much this turn. Blow drone, moving 10 inches, staying an inch away from the bikers. And these plague marines are gonna move up five. Second squad ending up in the ruins, all over, well, all looking at these bikes. Um, this guy's actually just gonna move five. Noxious Blightbringer, keeping up. My Terminator, oh, my Blight Lord Terminators and my Chaos Lord and Terminator armor are gonna drop right here, nine inches away from the Razorback. Actually, gotta double check that range. Readjusting it like that, just so I am nine inches away from there. And this Razorback. Uh, before I finish my movement phase, I'm gonna use the one stratagem that says they cannot be shot at if they're not the closest enemy model for Death Card. So it treats them as a character. So yeah, it's Cloud of Flies. So until the start of my next movement phase, they can only be shot, if they're shot at if they're the nearest visible enemy target. Uh, Noxious Blight, no. Malignant Playcaster is going to go ahead and cast Miasma Pestilence, targeting Mortarian. Minus one to hit him. And this goes off on a seven, I believe. Ooh. Got it. So I rolled seven. Uh, his uh, special ability kicks in where an enemy unit within seven inches would take a more wound, but everything's too far away. So but that is Miasma Pestilence on Mortarian. His other built-in spell is, oh, plus one strength and toughness. Ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. <laughs> Let's put it on this squad of Plague Marines for now. A six, I don't think I get it on a six. That's Pushlin Vitality, and it actually does go up on a six. So it's Death Guard Infantry Unit, so only infantry, plus one strength and toughness until the start of my next um, psychic phase. So he's done. And now Mortarian, he's gonna go ahead and do Jeez, I guess I'm just gonna be buffing these guys up a lot. Uh, Blades of Corpulation? Blades of Putrefaction. Um, so scratch Corpulation. <laughs> Cast on a five, targeting those uh, Death Guard. He gets it with a nine. Okay, so they have that. And then the last thing, he's gonna do Curse of the Leper, which goes off on a seven. Okay, well he fails that. Great. So Curse of the Leper would be targeting the nearest enemy unit within 14 inches. Roll seven dice. It would be them. For every uh, for every die that rolls higher than their toughness, they take a mortal wound. So that doesn't go off. But that is three psychic power, so that will be D3 victory points for my one objective. Oh, nice. Let's start with shooting. I'm actually going to open up with this guy's plasma pistol into the bikes. Just one shot. Hitting. I'm not going to supercharge. He's hitting on a three. He hits, and he's going to wound on a three. No wound. Okay. My blow drone is going to fire into those bikes with the melted guns. These are two uh, 2d6 automatic hits. Okay, Ooh. four, 11. Strength six, so wounding on threes. But this is a plague weapon, so I reroll ones. We have, okay, 10 <laughs> wounds, <laughs> 10 wounds and a reroll. Okay, so you have, and it's AP minus one. So it's like, okay. a, it's, a, it's like a very good heavy flamer. So a lot of three up saves here. Yes. Actually, did they get a four up? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah you're right, four. you're right. Yeah, they got a four up now. Four up save on them. They have two wounds each, though, correct? One, two, oh my god, one's alive. One is alive with one wound. A Sarge. One wound remaining. I guess it's not that big of an issue. This squad is going to fire into him now. 
just because why not. I'll start with the plasma and I'll throw in the plasma pistol, um, but not supercharging. So hitting on threes. Okay. And threes to wound. Okay, he's got himself a six up armor save. Uh, so I have to make five six up saves. Yes. Right okay. You need to make five six up saves to keep this biker alive. You want to see something special? Uh, I've done it before, I guess. So. Okay, well, you'll get one. There's one. Yeah. All right. Biker <laughs> then does go down. Now, this one's kind of important. Uh, I'm going to do it. They're all. I'm going to start with the Chaos Lord first. He's going to fire his plasma pistol into the Razorback, supercharging it, hitting on a two with a reroll. I. Okay, he's dead. I'll come to my realization that I really should have shot with them first and then took that risk on him. But I have now learned my lesson. I figured a one in 36 chance is super safe, but it happens. Oh, that was your Lord. That was my Lord. Oh my God. I know, it was, it was very bad. No, that was my Lord. I'm gonna fire the four combi plasmas into that now. I'm not supercharging it now though. That would just be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll Eight shots hitting on threes. Because that would be one dead right there if I had overcharged it. Uh, now these are gonna be wounding on fours. So we do have three, well, yeah, three wounds on them, and it'll be minus three. So you have a six up save on them. Okay. Nope. Okay, so he does take three, he goes down to seven. Okay. Reaper auto cannon time now. Uh, the new rule Death Guard have. Seven wounds. Right. The new rule Death Guard have is they have, um, they can always move and fire heavy weapons without penalty. They can advance and fire assault weapons without penalty. And their rapid fire range is always 18 inches. So it comes in from deep strike. It's a heavy weapon, but he fires it normally, hitting on threes for two hits. And these are going to be wounding on fours. Yeah. Strength seven. Oh, no damage. Ooh. So it only takes three from that when it, in, in my mind, should be dead. <laughs> Next is this squad. I'm going to fire, actually, I'll fire the uh, Noxious Bloodbringer first into that uh, Stern Guard squad. So one shot with the plasma pistol, hits on the three, and wounds on a three. Nope, no damage. Now for the Boo Plague Marine Squad, they're firing the well, rapid firing the plasma rifles and the plasma pistol all together, not overcharging, <laughs> hitting on threes, and wounding on threes. Okay, we have three six up saves on the Stern Guard. Stern Guard saves. All right, three of them go. Okay, ultra sure. dead. Yeah, all right, three of them are dead. <laughs> uh, let's see, guys. Yeah, and then I got one rapid firing bolter hitting on threes. I should have just threw a grenade with him, uh, but they both miss. My leftmost blow drone is gonna be firing at these dudes here. You can't see him. I can't. I can't. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, jo oh, I'm okay. joking. Two d six automatic hits for eight. All right, they're toughness four, so these are wounding on threes. Rerolling ones because it's a plague weapon. All right, um, those are all five up saves. I was really hoping that this didn't happen. Okay, one guy alive. One guy alive. I, I would. You don't want one. Oh, one guy dies. Oh, <laughs> one man dies. One of the five. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? This guy. Holy guacamole. <laughs> okay. That's gonna conclude my shooting. So, I'm gonna go on to charges. I'm gonna start with this squad charging them. I'll let you overwatch. Six is to hit me. Four shots. Okay, Nothing. they get to reroll one of them. Oh, that's true. Salamanders. Yeah. Forgot about that. No. My charge distance. I actually don't know what I need to roll, but let's find out. <gasps> An eight. Definitely you're in. An eight will definitely you're in. in. Yeah. Just into. I'll go into base to base contact, though. These guys will just get closer. Low drone, charging scouts. All right, so I'm gonna get eight shots at strength five. Yes, hitting on sixes with your shotgun. There's salamanders, so I guess, yeah. One more reroll? Nah. Okay, nothing. So my low drone kinda needs big numbers, actually, to do what I want him to do. A seven might be good enough. Seven inches is gonna get me on the other side of the wall within an inch to attack, and I need to get near that objective. Oh, these terminators need to make this nine inch charge. Uh, you get to overwatch, though, with your last cannons. Oh, okay, and I'll, do the, I'll do the Four shots on sixes. Nope. Okay, and then okay. last cannon. Two this shots on sixes. That's where I need those sixes. No. no. So I have a nine inch charge to make here. Oh! Ah. Okay, ten, yeah. Ten will get him yeah. right on in there. Interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and elect a fight first here. Let's pile in all around. Get guys in. Two attacks with the champion with his power fist, hitting on fours, because his mine's one hit. For one hit, and he's wounding on twos. Okay. Oh no. Ooh, do I, do I bother command point rerolling that? Oh, that'd be such a waste. It's a stern guard veteran, man. It's one guy. <sighs> I know, but I want to get these guys out of here. Ah, it's, I'm not going to bother doing it. All right, I'm going to have one attack each from the rest of the guys, and they're, they're little plague knives. Hitting on threes. Ooh, at least we got three hits. 
And force to wound. Rerolling ones because it's a plague weapon. No, two ones. Two ones. Oh, for just one. <laughs> one three up armor save. I actually killed a guy. Oh no! Had I rerolled that power fist, I would have killed the squad. But I guess this is fine. And then after attacking, they'll immediately consolidate. There we go. We draw next, three attacks, hitting on fours. Two hits, not bad. And these are strength six, so wounding on threes. <sighs> Ooh. I need these guys. What's the, what's the leadership on these guys? Uh, eight. The sergeant's got eight. All right, there is a sergeant there still? Yeah, the sergeant is the little guy with the face paint here. All right. That's how you know it's it. the one wound then. It's minus one, so they have a five up save. Oh, I was going to say, uh, I thought you made another save. One more guy bites the dust. Ouch. That's all the damage I'm doing over there. Next, my Blightlord Terminators will pile in an attack. Getting all around. Get in range to attack as well. Um, yeah, there are two attacks each. The champion right there has three. I've lost my lord. I lost the, my, my main damage over here. Ah, this is unfortunate. Oh, this is gonna, I'm going to regret this all game. These guys are hitting on threes. You know, nice. it's not too bad. So strength five, because they have the bubotic axe and they're plague weapons, so they reroll ones. If I roll a six or more to wound, they have aura of rust, which increases the arm penetration to one higher than what it normally is. So no sixes to wound, actually no wounds at all, because oh, I, need, okay. I need fives to wound you, but I do get two rerolls because of uh, 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 plague weapons. But they're going to do zero damage. So Stern Guard Sergeant is going to fight back on the plague marines. Three attacks, one hit, Okay. and wounding out of five. Nope. No damage. All right. Um, oh, he gets to re-roll. Oh, because he's a... Uh, Every time he fights and Yeah, shoots. he's a salamander. So I'm going to take a re-roll for, uh, for a hit of yeah, course. as well. No, it right. doesn't hit. So then, this is the uh, this is the wound re-roll. Salamanders. Yay! Oh. Three up. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Attacks from the Predator, hitting on sixes. Razorback. Razorback, I mean. Yeah. One hit. hey oh. Is wounding on three? Strength seven. A strength six. Yeah, strength six. Strength six, sorry. Three to wound me. No. no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. Attacks. Three scouts in range to attack my blow drone. The sergeant's got two attacks, four attacks. These are hitting on fours or threes? Threes. Okay. Yeah, they got their regular marine stat line now. All right, so we have four hits and then fives to wound me. And I'll reroll one of them because... Let's see if we can get any damage. No, Nothing. no damage, okay. Nothing. So leadership nine on this guy for morale. He's lost four guys, so D6 minus four. Probably five. Oh wait, uh, so he lost five. Yes, you, you have, okay, he would die normally, but you have, uh, what's it called? And they shall, they, know, and no they shall know no fear. So you're looking for a four, you want a four. Okay, That'll he's sticking around. Too. Which uh, leads me to realize that I have been forgetting well, death to the false emperor, which wouldn't really come up all that much because it was maybe over there. They would have came up, but that's okay. I'll remember for next time. These guys can't possibly lose anyone. They only lost two. For my objectives, um, you're denying me defend objective one because your scouts are still within three inches of it. Master of the Warp by Definitely God is going to be worth D3 victory points. For one. For these two, I'm debating if I want to get rid of any of these. I could do Big Game Hunter, but it could be very hard at the same time. I'm going to... I'm going to keep them. And now, at the end of my turn, you will actually get defend objective two, and that's going to be worth two. So you're at a total of four to my one. On your two new objectives, so you still have Witch Hunter. The second one's going to be Defend Objective 1. That's where your scouts are, my blow drones, so we're fighting for that one. Okay, and the next one. Hold the lines. You have to have nothing in your none of my stuff in your deployment zone, and you have to have at least three units of your own in your deployment zone. <laughs> Those guys so, need to hold on. So for what happens on your turn, your scouts need to hold on, yep. and these Terminators need to die, because they're in your deployment zone right now, denying you hold the line. Um, that means you have to fall your Razor back back as well. We can deploy your guys first. First things first, uh, bleh, Storm, bleh, Stern Guard? Stern Guard, Storm yeah. Guard. Stern Guard disembarking from the Razorback an inch away from me and uh, well within three inches of the Razorback. Razorback falls out of combat, blocking away those Plague Marines in the middle of the field. Stern Guard are now gonna go ahead and move after they disembarked, uh, leaving room for the captain to get in if he needs to. Captain's moving within an inch. Those five tactical Marines are moving on up, kind of Feeding them to Mortarian, essentially. <laughs> delaying him a turn. Ironclad Dread not moving up six inches. Flame Bikers are going to move up here. Flame Bikers also moving up quite far. 
At the end of the turn, Jeff is going to drop this, well, put the drop pod here. It's nine inches away from both those characters. And the guys disembarked three inches. I just didn't show it off camera. And then they moved their six. So they're ending up in the ruins, and they're still more than nine inches away from my malignant plague caster. Deathwind missile launcher from the drop pod, targeting my uh, noxious blade bringer. D6 shots. Is it heavy D6? Yes. So it is okay. Yeah. Four shots. Four All right, shots. so it's assault. It is hitting on threes then. Force to wound me. Strength five. Okay, Nothing. no damage. Squad number one with the blue plasma firing into my malignant plate caster. Now, what is this firing first? The plasma? Uh, so I'm firing the two plasma weapons. Are they so supercharging or just... Uh, uh, no, no. No supercharging? No, no. Okay. Because that wouldn't that wouldn't get me anything anyways, would it? It's, well, two damage. Two damage, yeah, yeah. but I, I don't want to lose them right now. So the two plasma guns, or the combi plasma and the plasma gun, all hit. All hit. And these are wounding on threes. And you get to re-roll the one, two, because you're salamander. Uh, all right. Still two. Three six-up saves, because it's AP minus three. I saved none. These are all one damage each, yep. so it'll be disgustingly resilient. I really doesn't, I want that same roll. Huh. I save one, I take two. Okay. He's down to two wounds. Three bolt guns from the same squad into him now. All right, one miss. Okay. Reroll because you're salamander. Oh, yeah, I get to. Cause I didn't, yeah, didn't, I didn't mess with the plasma, that's right. Okay. Five to wound me now. Woo, hey -oh. still four. Three up safe. Okay, oh, we make them. Okay. Team two with the red plasma into the same guy. Same thing, all shots into him. So, these are the plasma first. Plasma? Four shots. We're re rolling because of uh, Salamander. Three hits, and then threes to wound me with a re roll of one. Let me re roll one. Uh -oh. Thank you. Yes, two. So, I got two. Six of saves. Oh, I make Whoa. one. He's, he might live. I have a disgustingly resilient. Oh, he doesn't make He's got one wound left. And the th three bolt guns. Three to hit me. Five to wound. Oh no. Two of them. Three up. Oh, he's gonna survive. So wow. Close. I mean, so close. Good wow. try, he boys. survived eight plasma shots. I'm very surprised. Good. guard is gonna shoot his pistol into combat. Hitting on a three. All right, wounding on a five. With a reroll. No. Oh yeah, 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 you're right. Mr. Salamander over no. here. No. Deathwind missile launcher into my Blight Lord Terminators. D6. D6 shots. A one, okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> Wounding on a three. I mean, hitting on a three. Okay. All right, good job. Hey, <laughs> solid try there, buddy. Yeah. I'm going to fire the bolters from the bike into the squad and the combi melta into the squad, but only the melta part, not the combi melta and the melta part. So, so first is the bolters. Yeah. Rapid fire two. Okay, yeah, so four shots. Hitting on two, he's the captain. And wounding on fives. Because I am toughness five terminators. And I get to reroll. Uh, no, I'm not going to save that. I'm going to save that for the melta guns. Ah, smart. Okay. okay. Two up armor save. Cataphracty armor. Oh, we make it. Jeff. For the melted gun. Hitting on a two, rolling one. Hits. Hits. Wounds on a three, actually. Their toughness five. <laughs> I do get to reroll a wound, though. You do. Okay. Oh, wounds, fine. anyways. So they are in cataphracty armor, so they get a four up and vulnerable save. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they don't make it. So you're in melted range, you get 2d6. Uh, take, isn't take... that just for vehicles? Uh, I think it's for anything. 2d6, taking the highest for melta. How many wounds they got? Two? Two, yeah. So one of them's gone. Uh, I do oh. get disgustingly resilient on these guys. Save oh, one. Uh, blah, blah. Stern guard with their special bolters into my Blight Lord Terminators. I'm not trust you. Alright, right. Stern guard going to be hitting on threes, rerolling one. And you can use. Uh, okay, so no reroll one. Oh, all the yeah, ones. Yeah, they're all ones because the captain's nearby. Yeah. yeah. Alright, all hits. Okay. Wound, though. Rerolling one of them. Because you are a salamander. Okay, so it's three wounds to start, and then let's reroll one of these guys here. Four, no. No, all right. So these are minus two because they're special, right? Minus two, yeah. Four up then. Making one, failing two. Now these are just one damage each. Uh, disgusting resilient. Saving me. Oh, no, I'm losing another one. Ooh, geez, I don't want to lose the sergeant, so I'll take that guy. What are tactical marines? All firing into Mortari. I assume you're not going to supercharge the plasma. No. Okay, just no more shots. Now you are minus one hit because of miasma and pestilence. Okay, so hitting on fours. Yes. But these are the plasma guns. Plasma guns. All right, three hits. And because you are a salamander. Yeah. Reroll. Yeah. Hit, four hits. Yeesh. Now these are going to be wounding him on fives. And oh. uh, with a reroll. Yeah. Actually, no, fours. I'm sorry. These are plasma. Okay, you get well, a reroll, though. Just nope. for one wound. He's got the barber and plate, which gives him a four up and vulnerable save. Ah, he makes it. No hey. damage. Right. Guns, might as well try. Hitting on fours. 
One hit. Yowch. <laughs> and wounding on a five. He's not D8. Okay. Hey. His barber and plate only gives him a three up armor save though. He used to give him a two up, but he's fine. Captain with his Master Crafter Bolter is actually just gonna fire up my Terminators. So he's hitting on a two. We're rolling once because he's a captain. Hits and he's wounding on a five. We're rolling because you're a salamander. Reroll. Hey yo. Mr. Salamander. Oh, two minus, up minus oh, does, one. Does it have AP on this one? Three up armor save. Okay, we're good. Ooh, okay. Venerable Dreadnought. Venerable Dreadnought. Everything into Mortarian ready to from him. Twin last first. Twin last first. Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. Rerolling ones, though. Correct. All right, one reroll. Hits. Fine, so wounding on threes. All right. Wounds. Vulnerable saves on him. Makes one, fails one, so it's going to be D6 damage. Okay. D6 on Mortarian for five. Five, five disgustingly resilient saves. Five up. He saves two, he takes three. He's going to bring Mortarian down to 15 wounds remaining. One uh, crack missile, hitting on a three. Hits and wounds on a three. Three. Strike eight. It's a wound. Uh, minus two, so four up save. Makes it. Okay. Now we have the, this whole mess here. All your Devastators are going to fire all their big guns at the blow drone. Um, yeah, the other guns aren't really in range of anything, either. I don't no, I, I don't think, they're, they're not within... So, he's actually in range to shoot the Terminator, so we'll do his one bolter shot first. He's hitting on a three. Alright. Which is, uh... Let's go, Private Meat Shield. Oh, yes. no, he's gonna do it. Wounding on a five. He gets to reroll, no. he's just, oh, oh, I don't want to use that. True. I, try to, I guess I try no to way. trick you there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so all the rest of the big guns into my blow drone. Started with the last cannons, one of them's hitting on a two. So I'll do that one first. All right. Hits. And the other last game hitting on three. Hits. Perfect. Three to wound me. Two wounds. Two wounds. Uh, goes through my armor. So I'm going to go ahead and just do myself a five up and vulnerable save. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Okay. All right. Two missiles. Cracks. Hitting on threes. Three to hit me. Two All right. Three to wound me. Two wounds. Same idea. Two five up and vulnerable saves. Uh oh. Failed one. That one's off the table. Ah, make the other. Make. Okay. D6 so damage though. Four. Heavy weapons are chewing through me. Disgustingly resilient. Saving two, taking two. Blew my blow drone down to seven over here. You would have. So the bikers now, the flamers are out of range, but all the bolters are in range, so that's gonna be six shots from the bolters. Hitting on three, fours actually, because of uh, miasma of pestilence. I'm gonna reroll that. Was that a, yeah, was that a one or a two? Or was it a three? It was a one, but it okay, doesn't fine. matter, because yeah. uh, the they thing. get to reroll one miss. Nope. Correct. Five to me. I'm only tough in seven. I feel like he should have been tough in the eight, but yeah. maybe that's a little much. Oops, sorry, buddy. Ah, poor guy. Two wounds, though. Three up save. Make one. Ooh. Fail one. Disgustingly resilient. Bolt Five. I'm gonna do it? No. Yeah. Else. Bolt gun's gonna do it. I also knock my plague caster. How many wounds does this guy have? Mortarian's gonna go down to 14. Hello? There it is. Your Ironclad's gonna fire his multi gun into Mortarian, hitting on a four, I assume. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna reroll it though. He is a he is a salamander. Yep. Okay. No, okay. Not Astronauts. today apparently. Yeah. Sniper scouts firing their snipers at my noxious light bringer right behind Mortarian. Threes. Nice. We roll one because you're a salamander. Uh, this is gonna be five to wound. Sixes are bad. There's one rolling. six there, and I'm gonna reroll one of these. No. All right. So I just uh, a three up save normally. And a mortal. And then so, uh, save this. I uh, save the damage. Uh -huh. Now I have five of disgustingly resilient for the mortal wound. Yes, I do take one. Down to three wounds remaining. Mortal wound is gonna pop a whole lot of shots really far away at these plague marines beside the bl uh, blow drone. So two d three heavy heavy two d three. Three so, shots. Three shots. Down threes. All hits. Three to wound me. Strength seven. Two. Four up armor save because it's minus one. It's two damage each, correct? Yes. So one's gonna go through. I need to roll two disgusting resilient saves to save my man. I do! Whoa. My man is alive! Done. Onto charges. These two squads are gonna charge him, but the Sturgeon are going first. So I will overwatch. I'll start with the Reaper auto cannon. It's got four shots, hitting on sixes now. No hits. And then we have four shots from the, um, not four shots. Yeah, four shots, right? Yeah, they're yeah. from the plasma. Hitting on sixes. Oh, what? <laughs> God. Okay. Um, Wounded sure. Three Three's to oh. wound. Okay, ah, only still, two. Still, still two is still two. Still, still, still is too much. Two. They got a six up save. Here's where I need those sixes, please. Uh, no, okay. I, so I, and two of them end up dying. Bleh, bleh. And I might as well shoot with the bolter part too, because I mean, why not? Six to hit with the bolter? No, bolters all miss. 
That's all my Overwatch, so they can't fail your charge. Might as well roll 2 to 6 see where you end up, oh, though. Because yeah. he could go further. 7. A 7, alright, take him wherever you want. Uh, Ending up like that, and then he's going to want to charge. He just goes 2d6, he can't really fail himself. Let's see where he ends up. 6, where do you want him? Mm, good douche. Sure. Red Plaza Squad, charging my Malignant Playcaster. I will overwatch with a Blight Grenade, so it's a Grenade D6. Actually, okay. um, well, yeah, yeah, Grenade D6. There you go, 2. Doesn't matter on the range anymore. Um, hitting on 6s. No, nothing. Okay. Should be about 9 inches away from me. Well, you should, yeah, exactly 9 inch charge. Oh All no! Right. Ending up like that, leaving room for the other squad, the Blue Plaza Squad, and they're getting in on a 9 as well. No, no okay, so just close. the one squad. So Commander's gonna fight first in the Terminators. Okay. So Power Fist, uh, yep, he's hitting on threes because it's minus one to hit with Power Fist. Oh, oh no! Gets. He's wounding on twos. Yeah, because he's strength, he's strength 10 with the fist now. Correct. All wounds. All wounds, so I got four four ups. Got a frag here, armor. Oh no! Oh, do I use a command point on? I'm gonna command point one of these. Oh, okay, it helps. Nice. Only two fail. So that's gonna be 2d3 damage. Let's do them one at a time though. Okay. So the first one's d3 damage for one, and the second one's gonna be three. Okay. Oh, that's good for you. Uh, at, that, that, at most, this will kill one guy, so I have a disgustingly resilient save. I fail it. He goes down to one wound, and then I have three disgustingly resilient saves. He, uh, the one guy who's that one wound dies. Uh, I kill the Reaper auto cannon. Yeah, I don't like the auto cannon that much actually. Or have the plasma. Onto this squad of five tackle marines next against my playcaster. Six attacks, hitting on threes. And five to oh, we're rolling one because you are a Thankfully. salamander. Thankfully, right, three on five. Five to wound me. We're rolling one. Three up safe. He's good. Ah, okay. He's good to live He's another still day. Still alive. We're piling now, and they're going to do the four attacks of the regular guys. These two. Hitting on three, three rolling ones. Re so rerolling one and for the, the captain. Two for the salamander. So he that misses, and then two because they're salamanders. Five to wound me. No, oh, no. Rerolling one. Reroll. No. Hey. Come on, get out of here. No, I failed one. Disgusting resilient. Okay, oh, good. Okay, no damage. <laughs> yeah. Power for sergeants got three attacks. Hitting on fours. Four. It's only rerolling ones. But he's um. Oh, he's salamander. You have to. Re you'd have to technically oh, reroll it. it. I already did the reroll to hit, didn't I? Ye Yes, you did actually. I did, I did, I you did. did. It's true, yeah, yeah. That's fine. So that's one that's one hit. And then I wound you on a three. Correct. And you did the reroll. I did the reroll yeah. to wound, foolishly. Yeah. I didn't even think I about know. that when you no, were doing I, that. No, that one I didn't think about. The normal stuff, you're gonna elect the scouts to fight my drone next. Attacks with the scouts. Um Dirty. One, oh reroll one, yeah. Oh geez. Still These guys good. are not doing so well. Five to wound. Hey! There's a wound. Three up armor save. Makes it, okay. okay. And now I choose. So we'll move on to this combat next. I'll do the power fist first. Oh, hitting on fours, that's a miss. And then wounding on a two. No, again! Three plague knife attacks, threes to hit. And uh, fours to wound, rerolling ones. Rerolling ones. Okay, we got a wound, you have three up armor save on your stern guard. So the power fist doesn't kill him. No. Does this. It happened last time too. I know, I know, I don't need, I don't. Oh, he's, fine. he's fine, he's fine. Stern Guard Veteran, or a Stern Guard Sergeant, attacking, three attacks on threes. Oh boy, five to wound. One wound. I'm gonna re-roll one of them. Oh, because you're Salamander. Yeah. No, still one wound. All right, three of armor. Dang. No, disgustingly resilient. Ah, oh, okay. man. Vitaly with his blow drone. He's sitting on fours into the scouts. Um, two hits, yeah, no re-rolls. And strength six, so he's wounding on threes. Rerolling rolling ones because it's a play weapon. Two wounds. Um, these are minus one, so I think you have a five-up save. All right. Let's see if we can replicate what happened before. <laughs> one dies. One dies. Isn't he the one holding the objective? Ah, uh, he's two inches away. Yes. Okay. You're fine. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much on to the rest of my combats now. So I'll go ahead with this guy attacking into the just normal tactical marines. Caster now. Three attacks against your marines, hitting on threes, two hits, and strength six because it's well, it's like a four staff essentially. Uh, three is two wound. Uh, these guys over here now, I kind of want to get rid of that sergeant, I want to get rid of the stern guard as well. Okay, so what we're going to do there is all my attacks are going to go on the stern guard. So three attacks from the champion and then two attacks from the other guy. They're hitting on threes. And we've got one death of the false emperor. So that allows me to get one more attack in on three. Nope, misses. Alright, these are now strength 
five. Great, yeah, strength five, wounding on threes. All reroll because they're plague weapons, thankfully. <laughs> okay, we yeah, got nice. three. All right, so minus two AP. They have five up saves. Okay. Ah, oh my god. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Morale, can't lose it on the scout. I sergeant is leadership nine, so he can't possibly lose anything. And I think that's pretty much it. Nothing else really died. It wasn't a very deadly turn, I suppose. But nothing, like, I didn't even get any retaliation damage. To your objectives, you have defend objective one. Halfway there, but you're still struggling on a whole line of Witch Hunter right now. Yeah. So are you going to discard any of these, or...? I'm really close with both of them, so I think I'm going to keep them both. Because those Terminators, I mean, you could move, I suppose, but... Yeah. It, it would force your hand, and that, that Blight guy, Blight Caster, he's on one wound. So I'm going to keep... Keep them both? I'm going to keep them both, yeah. Sounds good. I still have Big Game Hunter and Defend Objective 1. What's next? Secure Objective 6, take and hold. Oh, I know where that is. <laughs> Possibly get it. Objective 6 being over here beside these Plague Greens that I... I put the Rhino over here anticipating that this objective was going to be annoying, so <laughs> I was going to leave one squad behind. It worked out! For the moving phase. Actually, I'm going to start with the Bloat Drone because I know what I want to do with him right away. We're essentially just going to move him over here, still in, in range of the objective, and falling him out of combat. Because I don't want to get... The combat's not going to go anywhere, i got to blast him away. Blow drone is gonna move somewhere. He's gonna go 10. And they around here. Not too sure what I want to do with him yet. My blight caller is gonna move five inches. Ending up over here. Uh-oh. Tactical squad. Not tactical squad, plague marines. Moving to go kill some tactical marines. There we go. This squad of marines are gonna go onto the objective. Oops. Ending up just like that. This guy. Move five, getting pretty close to these guys. Just gonna, I guess, secure my back lines with these guys. One turn, 12 inch move, taking them within an inch of both of those guys. Looking for a fight. He's gotta get into combat because that's what he's good at. It's gonna be it for my movement. At the end of my movement phase, I'm gonna use a Death Guard stratagem, Grandfather's. Grandfather Nurgle's Blessing, I believe something like that, and I'm going to bring back one of my Blight Lord Terminators to life with one wound. But I'll have two command points left, but I will bring a Terminator back. I don't know if it's worth the two command points, but I think it's pretty cool, and I'd like to do it. So, he'll be back right there. And I guess before I actually officially end it, this guy will definitely fall back five inches. It is not safe for him there anymore. He's going to go ahead and cast Smite. Uh, targeting that unit. Oh, geez, got it with a seven. Mm. So that is his special ability kicks in. One mortal wound with the uh, nearest visible enemy within seven inches takes a mortal wound after the spell goes off. So it's D3 mortal wounds plus one. So it'll be three mortal wounds. Mm. So it kills off three of them. I'm gonna go ahead and do Miasma of Pestilence targeting that squad of Plague Marines. Needing a six, not a five though. Five is a fail. It's a putrefaction on himself from Mortarian. Got it with a seven. So it's essentially plus one to wound. And if he rolls a seven or more to wound, it's more to wounds in addition to his normal damage. And he's just gonna go ahead and smite. Got it with an eight. It'll be D3 mortal wounds to the, uh, what's it called, the uh, Ironclad Dreadnought. Okay, I'm gonna use a stratagem oh. here. Yes. Uh, Armor of Contempt. So whenever an Astartes vehicle suffers a mortal wound, roll a D6 for that mortal wound and each other mortal wound inflicted in this model the rest of the phase. So on a five plus... That's ignored. It is right. ignored. I ended up rolling a three. I picked it up super quickly. Okay. <laughs> so I just wasn't sure if you were stopping my spell or so not. So I've got... Okay. Two five-ups. Okay. Both. No mortal wounds from Smite. Okay. How many command points? Is that just one? That's one. That'll be it for the psychic phase. I'm going to go on to shooting now. And he's going to go ahead and throw his Phosphex Bomb at those bikers. Phosphex Bomb is the grenade 2d6, strength 5, AP minus 1. Okay, 10. Wow. They're hitting on 2s. Rerolling 1s because of his built-in ability. Alright, and now these, he's also got another built-in ability. Any enemy unit within 7 inches must subtract 1 from their toughness. So their toughness 4. Their toughness 4. So these are wounding on 3s actually, I should probably roll that. So, wow. these are all minus 1, so you have 4 up armor save okay. on them. Okay, okay. 4 up armor save on the bikers. So that's two dead. Two. Two and a half dead, actually. Two and a half. So the sergeant is alive. Oh, drone. This is gonna 
try and kill these two guys off. 2d6 automatic hits for six. These are wounding on threes. Rerolling ones because it's a plague weapon. All right, that many five up saves. Okay. Poor guys. They can do it. They did it once. They almost did uh, it again. Oh, yeah, three. Yeah, but they do bad. go down. Mm, goodbye. Buddy over here is going to fire a plasma pistol at these guys. Actually, no, he's going to fire a plasma pistol over here at this squad. Oh, they have cover. Oh, well, whatever, I don't care. Plasma pistol then. Hitting on a three, wounding on a three. Hits and wounds. So you'll have a five up armor save in there. Is that five up? It's no. a one. All right, so one of these lovely, lovely salamanders in here are dead. Probably just the guy with the bolter, right? Uh, guy in the yeah. back. Go ahead and shoot with this guy, same squad. Hitting on a three, wounding on a three. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Five up. Oh, you're hey fine. Now these guys are all gonna fire. I gotta see if they're in rapid fire range because they have that 18 inch rapid fire range. I, I know that guy definitely always only got a pistol. And the two rapid fire plasma, they're definitely within 18. Hitting on threes. You. Gross. Wounding on threes. Okay. You still got a five up. Okay. One more goes down. Oh. Taking the guy from the back. And of course, rapid fire bolter. Two shots, one hit, four to wound. No, no damage. Pistol over here, plasma pistol from the sergeant. Hitting on a three, wounding on a three. Hits and wounds. He's got a six up save. Oh, he's gonna on, get man. blasted in the shooting phase. Come on, man. He can do it. Get out of here. Yes! <laughs> he <laughs> will not course. die! All right, I got three bull pistols. And then three bull pistols now. This is what's gonna do it. Two hits. And wounding on fours. <laughs> Drone. 2d6 automatic hits in the Razorback for seven. Life's to wound it, because it's only strength six. We got one so far, but I am plague weapon, so I'm rolling ones. Okay, not bad for th two, yeah. So yeah, Done two four ups on the Razorback. Okay. These are uh, four ups, minus one. Take one damage, down to six. You. With Mortarian. I did, I threw his grenade. Oh, right, yeah. okay, yeah, I yeah. shot with Mortarian. That is it for my shooting. So I'm gonna go on to combat, or charge, I should say. And yeah, why not? Mortarian's gonna charge both the Ironclad Dreadnought and the Lone Biker. Okay, so we'll do Flamer from the Ironclad. So D6 six, on max hits. Five. five. These are wounding on fives. For one. one. And I reroll. Because you're a salamander. Uh, oh, you wanna save it for the Melta maybe? No, 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 because I might not even hit with the Melta. Alright. We reroll one. Doesn't matter. Four up save. I don't make it. Disgustingly resilient. I don't make it. Ooh. He's down to 13. Melt again on a six. Reroll because you are a Ithilamander. No. 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 Okay, no. five. Okay, good. Yeah. And so it's the twin bolt guns and the pistol. Hitting on sixes. Okay. Reroll because you're a Salamander. Uh. Alright, charge distance. Good enough. Yeah, I think you're in. I'll just go ahead and go base to base with both of you. Go ahead and do this charge now. My, uh, what's it called? Noxious Blightbringer charging into those tactical squads. Plasma. They, yeah, they both have plasma, right? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Killing them before their time. Six to hit, not overcharging. No, over rolling one because you're Salamander. All right, and these are wounding on threes. No. He's going to have a... I think he's just got a six up save. Okay. Oh, there we go. Done. Charge distance is going to be eight. In for sure. Ah, uh, we'll just go like that. Yeah, I guess I'll make him face him. Yeah, this guy's gonna go ahead and try and charge as well. Nope, he's not doing that. Not. Might as well try and charge with them if I get like a 10. Oh, 11. Or an 11. 11 is more than enough to get them in. But end up like that. Uh, blow drone into Razorback. You get to Overwatch with your all stuff. All right, all right. Storm Bolt turns the blow drone first. Six is hit. We got what? One. One. Oh boy. Five is to wound. Please. Wound. Please. Three help. No. It Disgustingly resilient. Nope, he's down to six, okay. And watch the last cannon do nothing. Two, uh, two last cannon shots on sixes. Okay, thank it's you. Too bad. And his charge distance. Oh yeah, Good. he could like skirt around if yeah, he wanted to. Go like this. I'm trying to pull the draw pod into combat as well. So it's my turn. Uh, well, am I gonna do more? I, don't, I just said to myself, I'm gonna do more Tarian last. That's crazy. I don't want more Tarian getting hit by this Dreadnought. Yeah. So more Tarian's gonna put um, he's gonna put his attacks into the Dreadnought. He's got these weird little Nurglings I can fight too. They're gonna put those attacks into uh, the Biker. Okay. So he makes d6 additional attacks with the uh, Attendant's Claws and Teeths for two. Uh, these are gonna be hitting on twos, I suppose, rerolling ones. And these are wounding on sixes. Even though he's toughness four, this is only strength two. 
But they're plague weapons, so six to wound. No. Why would he even have these? They're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Silence can do anything. So he's got six attacks, so he's not wounded enough. That's five. He's hitting on twos. Uh, re-rolling ones because of Mark of the Death Guard. Hitting on twos. Re-rolling ones. There's no sixes so far. Sixes would be great. Nope. Ah, double one again. All right. Now he's strength times two with the eviscerating blow. So he's strength 16. The dreadnought is what? Toughness seven? Toughness eight. Toughness eight. But you're still doubling yeah. me. Yeah. So it, it does do one out of seven, though. It doesn't really matter. Two's to wound. And he's got the his plague weapon. He's also got the arc contaminator, which makes him reroll all failed wounds. Oh, come on. Still got a one there. Um, these are minus four, so you only have a three up, right? Yeah, I don't get anything. So d6 damage each. All right, he's dead. He is so gone. <laughs> 12, 14. He takes yeah. 18 wounds. 18. Well, he's got 19, so that... Oh, yeah, wow, that's, that's right. crazy. Yeah, does, he does he blow up on a stick? Does he blow up? Oh, he does blow up, though. Yeah, you're on right. Six. Let's is see. it going to happen? I want him to I would, up. You know, You're going to kill the biker. I don't care. I'm going to kill him, too. Yeah, you're going to kill him. more. You're going to yeah. kill more Tarion with the biker. 13, uh, yeah. 13 right. mortal right. wounds. Here we go. No, he doesn't Nothing. blow up hard. Uh, but I do away. I get that guy out of here. Going ahead and spending two command points to interrupt my uh, order of operation for charging. Leaving you with two command points left and your captain is going to swing at my Blight Lord Terminators. Four attacks against me, hitting on threes because of the minus one. All hits. All hits. And these are going to be wounding on twos because they're strength ten. That's pretty good. That's pretty good actually. Everything. Hey folks, here's my four cataphracty armor saves. Command point to reroll one. They worked! Oof. So one goes through, it's a d3 damage. Three. Three. Dis three disgusting resilient saves? No, he does die. In my command point pool, down to one. So attack with the bloat drone. He's still at his top profile, hitting uh, three attacks on fours. Uh, that's a whole lot of three misses right there. Oh, I forgot to pile in. I'm gonna pile in something like this. There we go. <laughs> the Blightbringer can do some damage. He's got three attacks, hitting on threes. All right, one hit. He's wounding on fours. Wound, one wound, you get your three up armor save. Okay. <laughs> I pay in the cost. No. It's two damage, but it doesn't matter, I guess. Ah. Yeah. And then um, my guys are gonna pile in. And uh, I was gonna see if the Blightbringer could do any damage. All right, they're all within an inch of that guy to attack, so they're all attack. I'll start with the champion. He's got two attacks with his bale sword, hitting on threes. All right, two hits, not bad. And these are uh, strength four, winning on fours, but they're plague weapons, so we're rolling that one. That's a wound. AP minus three. Here come a couple of sixes. Double sixes. He double, got double ones, ones alright. Okay. So he's just out of here. Good. There we go. And they will consolidate three inches to the nearest enemy. Three inches is just gonna take them right here. The normal order of operations again, I'm gonna put all five attacks into these guys. Hopefully they'll kill I don't know, one. <laughs> I hate these stern guards. <laughs> yeah. Three oh wow, hitting on threes against That'd the stern guard. Right. And threes to wound them. Oh, I just jinxed it. Oh, oh, uh, the sixes are actually AP minus three. I forgot to see if there's any sixes on hits as well. You know what? I think this might be enough to kill you. So these are six up saves. I'm not going to bother to look back for death of the false emperor. All right, here we go. So two one, are alive. One, one still there. And then these are two five up saves. Power fist. Power fist. All right, he goes down. The power fist goes down. You want to no, it? no, no, it's not. Right. It's a five up. I don't want to. Yeah. Consolidating for them. They're already in base to base contact. Uh, your pick. Uh, Turn guard against my plague marines in the middle of the map, which has been going on forever. Or it seems like it's been going on forever. Two, and they get to reroll one. Yeah. Hey. Five to wound. Rerolling the one. Yay. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Three up. Five up. Disgusting resilience save. No. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That guy's going down. Okay. The champion, he's got two attacks on fours. This, ooh, oh, minus one to hit, can't get death to the false emperor. So that's uh, one hit, moving on to two. Aha! Aha! Six up save. Six up save, I think, wait, AP minus, yeah, six up save, AP minus three. Come on, get out of here. No! Oh, right. so close. It feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, I hate <laughs> that guy. I hate that guy so much. Consolidate, not really. Oh, I don't know, I can move backwards, that's cheating. These guys are gonna move up. There we go. Sergeant is gonna fight more Tarion back, hitting on threes. Here it comes. Hitting on threes. Double ones. Rolling one. Heyo. Yeah. Alright, and six to wound. Oh, five to wound. Okay, 
here we go. With a reroll. Come on, buddy. With a reroll. That reroll. No. No. Artarian lives to fight another day. <laughs> Get uh, three attacks. Razorback is gonna smack my bloke drone right back with his three attacks, hitting on sixes. He's gonna open that back door right into him. None. Oh yeah, he's not a. And that leaves a drop pot which has zero attacks to fight back with. I think that's gonna conclude my turn. Yeah. <laughs> he opens the door, closes the doors. <laughs> Zero effect. Looking at morale on the board, I don't think anything has to take it. Uh, they lost one, they're fine. Lost one, they're fine. They lost two. They lost two, but they're still leadership eight. Yeah, that's Even right. on a six, you're good. Um, and they're not within seven inches of him to make it leadership. Uh, he lowers your leadership by one, okay. but you're too far away. Anchor's fine, only lost two. We're going to go and check objectives. we go and refresh this one here. This is your defend objective one, which I have now denied you. Over on my turn, on my side, for Defend Objective 1, I've started doing it, and I've actually secured Objective 6, giving me two victory points, which is not so bad. So as long as I hold the, um, this on your turn, all is well. Looking at Jeff's objectives, can't really get any right now. I did deny objective one, and you can't wait till the end of your turn to discard. So you can still get to try and get my plague cast or kill Mortarian. You have to get those terminators out of your line, and you have to defend objective one. Onto the movement phase. The first thing you want to do is follow this biker out of combat. He's going to go 14 inches there. over that away, getting out of combat of Mortarian, leaving Mortarian out in the open to be shot at. It's actually for movement because you don't want this to move. You don't want any of them to move. Uh, they're, they're fine. They're exactly okay where they are. Where they are. All right. Yeah, I mean, they're not. I, I don't. Is this going to fall out of combat? Uh, no. No, he's fine. No, there. He's gonna stay. He's gonna stay put. The commander's gonna stay put. All right. Um, he's done. On to shooting. Just gonna open up with this guy. Uh, what is shooting at? Plague Marines or? Uh, yeah. He's this guy here is gonna shoot at the uh, at the Plague Marines. All right, then. Yeah. Before we shoot that, we actually are gonna jump back and move these guys a little bit forward. Yeah, they're gonna move to the edge of the cover. Okay. Assault D six from the drop pod. Mm. For, for one, hitting on a three. And strength five, so this would be wounding me on a five. Four. Wounding me on a four. AP. Nothing. Nothing right. Three up. Okay. Disgustingly resilient time. No. Ooh. I will take the bolter guy. So next up is going to be the combi plasma plasma into them. Yeah. These are hitting on not supercharged, I assume. No, 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 no. I saw what happened to your lord. Yeah, that was bad. That threw me off pretty hard. Three is to hit. Rerolling the one because, well, you're a salamander. Okay. Ah. And then three is to wound. Wow, okay, I really wish... This is going to leave me with a 6-up armor save. Making 1, actually, Nicely not done. bad. And then I'm going to be disgustingly resilient. Please? No, I'm no. not. I'm losing 2. Ugh. I'm actually going to take both of I'll be the sergeant. Now with the bolter. Two shots, hitting on 3s. I can't reroll that because right. I already did. And winning on a 5. Reroll, because you didn't use it on the plasma. Oh, yeah. Got 3 sixes. Hey! Oh, right, oh, this could be it. 3-up armor save. Ooh. Disgustingly resilient. No! Oh, got him. He does die to a bolt. Got him with a... Next is the whirlwind with its vengeance launcher. 2d3 shots at these plague reeds in the middle of the table. All right, for four. Down threes. Oh, wow. Everything. All right, wounding on threes. Mm, two. Two. Give me a four up armor save on me. Failing both. That's two damage each. Two damage each. All right, so I'll first plague marine, disgustingly resilient. He does die. And a second Plague Marine. He's in! Oh, so one Plague yeah. Marine dies. Ugh. Oh, yeah, sure. Tactical Marines with the Plasma Combi Plasma. Over at these Plague Marines. So opening up with the Plasma Guns. This one here is in rapid fire range. So, three shots. Hitting on threes. Not supercharging, of course. No. Are you going to use a Salamander trait? Uh, yeah, to reroll the hit with this guy, for sure. Still oh, no. Still miss. Three's to wound. Ah, you can reroll. For one. Bomber save. Disgustingly resilient. No, I lose my other plasma gun. Four bolt shots into the plague ring champion left now. Oh, three hits. He's gonna be wounding him on fives. No reroll allowed here, but still one. Oh no, this is gonna do it too. This happened last time. <laughs> three of armor save. No, five of disgusting resilient. Oh, ah, thank you. Man. This had my last champion. <laughs> Captain's bull pistol into the terminators, hitting on a two, rerolling ones. Wait, 
Wait, wait, no, I might have replaced it with one of the weapons. He doesn't have a Never mind, I forgot he has the Kami Melta. No bolt pistol yeah. on him. No. Um, um, so, no one else is in combat to do that. So you have just these two squads to fire with uh, next. Yeah, those two. I forgot about him, I kind of want to forget about him. There's a, lot of, <laughs> yeah. a lot of heavy weapons to fire still, more turns. Yeah, there's a know. lot of heavy choices to make. Though. Right out there in the open. What? Snipers are going to try and take out this malignant play caster who's only got one wound left, which will give you Witch Hunter as well. These are hitting on threes, we're rolling one of these die. Dice, we roll the one. Alright, still, oh, still only four hits. Uh, these are wounding on fives. Yeah, any sixes are the mortal wounds. Sixes are what you want. Yeah. Let's see... I'll get, you're gonna get one. <gasps> four wounds, but no mortal wounds. Ah, oh, it's only five, so when you get to one reroll. One reroll. <laughs> because you're oh, Salamander. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. You're Salamander. Yeah, yeah. That's one reroll. Right. Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry. No problem. It's no only problem. No strength four, right. And I no thought six. those were wounds. No six. Okay. And so this, could, this is probably still going to kill him. Three up armor saves. Yeah, he's probably Fail dead. Fail both. Fail both. Disgusting resilient. Make one. Fail one. Got it. Not going to do it. Not going to bother wasting command point. Goodbye, my sweet prince. After with his master crafted bol uh, bolter. Firing at the oh, last plague marine. Hitting on a two. Rerolling ones. And wounding on a five. We get to reroll because you're a salamander. Yeah. Please no. Oh, yes. crap. These stupid ah, salamanders. Minus, minus one. Salamanders are so annoying. Four up. No, disgusting. Two damage. All right, I'll roll this twice. Oh, oh. you made the first one. I do. Oh, he survives. Six. Double six to keep him alive. Man. Yeah, but the venerable dreadnought and the decision is into everything into Mortarian. Yeah, let's try and kill a Primarch here. Twin lads first. Okay. Twin lads. Hitting on twos. Uh, yes, hitting on twos. And then wounding on threes. Threes. Threes to wound Mortarian. Rerolling one, he is a. Uh, I reroll ones for the captain. That's uh, that's for hitting. Oh, those those are. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, those Absolutely. are. We get to your salamander. You get to reroll one. Oh, those four wounds. Threes. Got it. Four normal save. No. D six damage. damage. Please. Four. Wow. I'll take. Disgustingly it. resilient. Five ups. I ignore one. I take three. Put him down to ten. Go shot with that missile launcher. Uh, reroll because the captain. Yep. Hits. That's a wound. Um, oh, that's hit. That's a hit, not a wound yet. Oh, right, that's a hit. Yeah, so I have to wound him now on a three. Three to wound me. Got that's it. it. Alright, so looking for a four up here. Can I make a four up? No, I can't. Oh. D6 damage. I can't make any saves on this guy. No. Two. I'm gonna command point reroll. Command point reroll, okay. That one. Four. four. Disgusting resilient. Saves one. He's down to seven. Yeah. Oh, he's down to seven. I can't make any invulnerable saves. That's gonna be the downfall of Mortorian. Draws Mortorian. Mortorian. Yeah, he's down a bracket now. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna use a signum on this last cannon. So you can fire the last cannons first. Yeah. One hitting on a two. We're rolling ones. The hits, hits, and the other one hits on a three. All right. These are wounding on threes. Are you gonna use, are you gonna use the uh, salamander? Yep. Yeah. Please. Four from vulnerable saves. I'm gonna, com I'm gonna command point reroll one. Ah, this is my last command point gone, so it's d6 okay. damage. For one. One. Damn. Disgustingly resilient. No, I take it. Okay. Missiles, hitting on threes. Rerolling ones, and wounding on threes. Please stop getting all the wounds. Oh boy. Four ups, d6 damage. Could potentially kill him right here. No! Oh, one, all right. Disgusting resilient, no! Oh. I can't make any of these saves, he's down to five. And then the last cannon. Get the Armorium Cherub. You're gonna make the last cannon that had the signum on him fire again. That's the one. To, that's a once per game use. So two up save. I mean two up shot. Hitting and on here's two. Here's where I get the one. Reroll. Oh, nope. got one, him. Winning on a three. Let's see. Can you do it? Can you do it? Yes. No! Yes. <laughs> Mortarian lives. Oh my god. Five shots with the bolter. Hitting on threes. Might as well get that done out of the way with. Oh, I've got a bolt pistol. Too, and the bolt actually. pistol. Yeah, yeah, throw that in there. Threes to hit. This is their last chance. Oh, reroll one because the captain. Yeah. Because I'm gonna get him with Mortarian on my turn. <laughs> uh, wounding me on fives. Two, oh, one. 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 one wound. Three up armor save. Okay, yeah. makes his armor save. All right, so up next is these three are going to try and charge this guy here. I will overwatch with a plasma pistol. No. All right, so distance. Where are they going? Five? Five? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's, that's definitely in. That's in, yeah. Will they end up? Is that your only charge? I think so. All right. Um, that's pretty much it because... Yeah, everything else. Is I don't want it. I don't want it. You don't want none of this. Yeah. I, come to me, like, yeah. <laughs> Four attacks, hitting on threes. Reroll because you're a salamander, and this will be wounding on fives with one reroll. 
One, one and then so one far. roll. Two. Two! Man, you always get those. Yeah. Three up save? Okay, I make oh, one. Oh, you're fine. Captain's got four attacks. Again, hitting on threes. Rerolling ones. Can I see a two? Oh, we got a two. Boo. <laughs> do I have command point left? I don't know, do you? I've got two. You're at two. In my pocket. Never mind, not gonna use command point. You only have one left after yeah. all. Uh, wounding on twos though, because you're strength 10. Here's the warlord trait. Ooh. You're gonna command point that one? <laughs> this is a tough call. It's a really tough call. I really think about Yes. It. You're command pointing? Alright, last yes. command point gone. Here we go. Two up. Alright. Yes. Four more will saves. Fail, fail, and I take one. I got no, um, I have no command points left, so these are D3. Oh, one at a time, one at a time. D3 damage. Five, uh, three. three. Five. And then it'll be, um, disgustingly resilience. I make one, so he dies, uh, the not champion, and then you have one more D3 damage. Please. Two. Disgustingly resilience. No! Oh. No, my terminators are dead! Oh, drone's up next to attack, he's got three, into this Razorback. Hitting on fours. All right, he's done. You're back, right on back. Still got six to hit. Three attacks. Nada. To consolidate this guy, he just went three inches closer to the blow drone. Noxious Bladebringer into these dudes right here. He's got three attacks, hitting on threes. Three hits. And um, four wound. Plague weapon. Oh. Plague weapon. Oh, three. Three. Three up uh, armor saves. He'll probably fine though. Ain't nothing bad's gonna happen to them. Don't don't say that. Don't say that. Cause then this. Oh, oh one. Okay, Bolter Man. Kill a Bolter Man. There's no morales to take. I don't believe. Uh, Cause you only lost one over there. I lost two. Lot of leadership eight still. Yeah, I think we're good. Just Mortarian took a bunch of hits. And objectives. You got hold the line because you killed my Terminators. Mortarian's not quite there. So you got that. Defend objective one is still not happening. And you got Witch Hunter because you killed my Psyker with snipers. Are you gonna get rid of defend objective one? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you get three on your next turn. Kick it. But that does put you up to oh, quite a bit, actually. Geez. So you get one for first blood, two, three, four, five, six to my, I think, just two. At the end of your turn, I also do get objective, secure objective, or defend objective one. So that's going to give me two more points. This is the con command point. So we're looking at two, four to your six. I can get any new objectives. Secure objective three. Okay, it's new. And priority order, so my warlord has to get this one. Secure objective one with my wall, and that's a different one. That one's impossible to achieve, which is really unfortunate. The way we were playing this before, if it's impossible, you just chuck it until you go, and that is possible for him to do. Defend objective six there. He has to try and defend objective six. That's going to be not easy to do. Big game hunter, I have to get rid of that. It's not gonna be easy. And I have secure objective three, I can get that with that guy, so that's not too bad. And then Mortarian has to get over there and defend objective six where my plague marines are, so that's not gonna happen. On the movement phase, Mortarian is obviously gonna move right on over here, being within an inch of both of those squads, or close to the both of them. This guy's gonna move on up to the Razorback, get it nice and close. I think this guy wants to fall back. I think he can do more damage just spraying shots at it. So I'll go for that, he's gonna fall back. Just like land right there, I think. Because I do have to kill this. Plague Marines that run the objective walked out a little bit, just so they're in range to rapid fire at this Razorback. Which is Blightbringer's gonna advance. 2e6 taking the highest for 3, so he's going 7 inches. 7's gonna take him right there. Drone's gotta advance. 13 is what I needed. So after measuring, this was 12 inches away. I wanted him up here. Now he's very fidgety, of course. He's gonna go ahead and cast some uh, bales. He's gonna do Curse of the Leper first. It'll have to hit these guys. So it's going to be, what is this, uh, seven to cast, I believe. Okay, getting with a nine. So this one I roll seven, seven dice for every five, or five, sorry, for every die I roll higher than their toughness to take a mortal wound. I'm looking for five ups. Just two mortal wounds. Boop, boop. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Smite on, well, it has to be that squad. Yeah, there's no point in augmenting his, yeah, smiting it is. Oh, he fails. Oh well, that's fine. The Devastators would have been closer, but it didn't go off. He's gonna fire a Plasma Pistol into the Razorback. You know what he's gonna do? Supercharge. I don't care. Okay, well, you, 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 know, what you, is happening. you don't remember what happened last time. That's fine. Ah, oh. it hits. Okay. Wounds on a three. Ah, not even worth. This guy's gonna fire into it now. 2d6 shots. Five. These are wounding on fives. 
Oops. Oh boy. So we got one so far. Plague weapon. For just one. Minus one, so you have a four up save. Oh, takes oh. the damage. Down to five. As over yonder, are gonna fire into this Razorback. I'm gonna start with the Bolter first. Because I'm not too sure if I want to supercharge or not yet. Two hits. Fives to wound for no damage. Six is. Bring myself to do it. I can't bring myself to supercharge these plasma guns. They're hitting on threes. Ah! Aha! And wounding on uh, fours. For two. Minus three. Six up saves. Can I do some more damage to it? Damage. <gasps> two more. Brings another three. Brain is going to go right on ahead and chuck a grenade at these guys. So it's 2d6 for the Phosphex Bomb. In fact, yeah, that makes sense. 2d6 for the Phosphex Bomb. Three! Yeah. Hitting on twos. Rerolling ones. And wounding on threes. Um, it's a plague weapon. Let me double check that, actually. Two wounds is not a plague weapon, so you have a four-up save. Let's see if I can kill a couple. No! They're fine. They're fine. Drone. Firing at the Camel Cloak Scouts. 2d6 auto hits. For seven. Wounding you on threes. Plague weapon. Ouch. All right, all wounds. Ouch. Now they have a two up save and cover. It doesn't ignore cover, so it's a three up save. Give us minus one. I only kill one. Just wow. one of the dice. Goodbye. It's gonna be all my shooting, so I'm gonna go on to charges. I'm gonna start way over here. I'll get to Mortarian last. This guy is gonna charge in. You get to Overwatch, I suppose. So you okay. have your. So I'll do the uh, last can or Stormbolt first. Stormbolt first. Six of the hit. One. Wounding on F5. No. no. And then the two last cannon shots. Sixes. Please. <laughs> All right. All right. Three's to wound me. All right. And watch these be ones, yeah. Oh, oh. a one. So it's six up armor save. No. And then it's D6 damage, actually. Oh, it's three. I need to make all three of these. I make none. He dies to Overwatch. Whoa. I freeze your guy up for shooting, too. Oh, my oh. gosh. Last thing's up. Mortarian's charge against the Devastator squad. Let's see if I can make this happen. Overwatch. You get to do your Overwatch. Two last cannons first. Hitting on sixes. Rerolling one, because you're... Uh, do you want to do it? Yeah, might as well do it on last Yeah, I might as well do it yeah. on the last cannon. Oh, no. It's... I hate that stupid Salamander trait, man. <laughs> Come on. And wounds on a three, right? Yep. Yeah. Wounds. All right, four up save. Invulnerable. Okay, oh, you made I made it. it. I made it more. I made an invulnerable save. It's great. All right. Uh, missiles, two of them. No. Uh, yeah, no reroll hits. Re -roll. Then you got oh. the bolt, uh, bolt pistol and the uh, rapid fire and bolter. Six is to hit. One hit. And wounding on a, what is it, five? They reroll once. Right. We'll go back and reroll that one for that now. That one for now, but yeah. yeah. No. No. All right, so this is wounding on a five. Yes. All right, three up save. Yeah. We're good. Uh, uh, going back and checking the clips, we have a one on Alaskan you get to reroll, and a one on a missile you get to reroll. Because of this guy. Because right the captain's here. nearby. All right, last cannon first. On a six. No. And then the missile on a six. No. All right. <laughs> so, Mortarian's charge. Four? Should be good enough vertically. Maybe. Yeah. Definitely making in the ledge is only three inches up. Um, that's it for my charges. Starting with this combat, he's uh, only got one command point, so no interruptions anymore. Hitting on threes, no rerolls, and four wound. Not rolling a two. You have a three up save. You're good. Get on to Mortarian's combat, and he's gonna re use the reaping blow part of his side instead of the. Uh, he's only got five attacks now, but for every one attack he puts into it, he gets three attacks, so he'll have 15 attacks against the squad. I guess before I swim with him, I'll do the host of plagues, which I forgot to do last time, which could have killed that stupid bike. So for every enemy unit within seven inches of Mortarian at the start of the fight phase, I rolled d6 on a five up. They take uh, d3 mortal wounds. So this squad on a five up. No, they're fine. The Devastator squad on a five up. Oh. So d3 mortal wounds on them. It kills two of them. All right, well. Who's it going to be? Definitely you, Mr. Meat Shield. And then. Maybe the sergeant. I don't know. Sergeant's got extra attacks, though. Oh. If he, if somehow <laughs> they survive, no, I'll take a five up. It'll hit the captain. No. And then um, they're out of range, so they're not affected. Now I'll go into combat with my 15 attacks against the squad. Now he's hitting on twos, rerolling ones. Rerolling the ones because he's the Primarch of the Death Guard. Okay, one into a one. 
So you're down to toughness three, but I'm strength eight anyway, so two's to wound, re-rolling, because of plague weapon and his warlord trait. One re-roll. All right. He can save that minus two. You have a five up armor save. All right, I think they go down. Yeah, how many do I make? Only three or four. Five. Yeah, and then they die this many times. Woo. <laughs> All right, so Mortarian cleaves right through them. And, ugh. He's up here. Three inches for a consolidate would actually take him closer to these guys. Actually, maybe I'll measure that and get him in combat. Three inches will simply take him right there. Uh, just shy of pulling them in. Oh, one, thing I, uh, one thing I just realized is Host of Plague's ability affects both fight phases, so I'm going to try and remember that it uh, happens on my enemy's turn as well. Three attacks over here into my Blightbringer. Three hits. Fives. Fives. Oh, I get to reroll one of them. Yes, that doesn't matter. Ah, every Dude. time. Every time. Three up. Oh. Failing one. Disgustingly resilient. Ah, take one. He's down to two. Every time. I hate that stupid Salamander roller. That's such a good tactic, man. Anyways, no morale, no morale checks to take because they only lost one. Mm -hmm. That squad got wiped out. They only lost one. And they only lost one. So let's go check objectives. Big Game Hunter has eluded me. Secure objective three I did get with my Blightbringer though. So I'll put it over there. And I am gonna junk this one. Move right on to Salamander turn four. Top of turn four. And uh, see what objectives you get. First one, defend objective five. Defend objective five. Next one, nope. you just have to kill something essentially. Okay. In any phase. And assassinate, kill a character. Yeah, well that, yeah. Objective five is gonna take you to this one over here. Uh, killing a character could be any of these guys, or Mortarian, and uh, no prisoners, they simply just kill anything in any phase, so have at it, what's your movement phase is going to be like. Tactical Marines are moving away from Mortarian, I wonder why. <laughs> Captain, moving between the Dreadnought and the Tactical Squad. Biker, 14 inch move, right beside the objective that you have to defend, so you have to hold this for your turn and my turn. Yes. And simply moving up within an inch of the bullet drone. Deathwind Missile Launcher. D6 shots for one again. Oh man. He's hitting on a three. Alright, nothing on that Blightbringer again. Yeah. Put drop on. Yeah. Double bolt pistol. I forgot to shoot my pistol back at you, but two pistols on one hit. Oh, Salamander, right. And Woody on fives. With a reroll, which is going to get you a five. No. no. Okay. <laughs> three up. No, we're good. You're good. Okay. Drop pod with his Death Wind missile launcher into Mortarian. D6 shots for two. Two. Two hit. Five to wound me. One. Got one. Three up armor. Please. Ooh. Disgustingly resilient. Oh, it's a Death fail. wind. Four wounds left on Mortarian. Squad here is going to fire to Mortarian. You're going to supercharge. Oh, we're going to have two of them supercharged into Mortarian. Hitting on threes. We're rolling ones. Got the one to reroll. Still okay, miss. It's just a miss, that's fine. And then, um, wounding on fours, threes. Top of seven only. Three, Three wounds. wounds. He's got a four up save. Four up and vulnerable save. He's gonna fail two of them still. So that's two damage each for Disgusting Resilient. So, um, first one, he takes two, he's down to two, and he is at one wound. Whoa! Mastercrafted bolt gun into Mortarin, hitting on twos, re rolling ones. Alright, <laughs> wounding on a five. No, that's a wound. Three ups, uh, actually four up safe, which I won't make. Oh, I made it, okay. Four snipers into Mortarian, hitting on threes. Rerolling rolling because you're a salamander. Got it. And then five to wound me. Six are mortal wounds. We're rolling the one. Oh! Every time. So I have a disgusting resilient against a mortal wound. He does die. On a four up, he blows up. He does not. So he is just removed. I think right there I can easily concede as well. Yeah? With, yeah, without more Tarion I got nothing really yeah, left. Yeah, it's true. I just have the two blow drones who aren't going to do enough damage. The, well, you got these two guys. I mean, that's fine. There's there's not much they can do. Okay. Like, my only and hope here... Squad. My only hope here is that they blow that up, but I, with, the, with the way I'm rolling, that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And he can tie him up in combat forever. I guess he can fly away, but the three objectives you have right now... So you just got one for killing Mortarion. Uh, for no prisoners, he got one for... Slaying uh, the Warlord, too. Slaying the Warlord, got one for killing a character. Yeah. That, that was it. Losing Mortarian there was a little too much. Uh, Mortarian took a little bit too much damage in that one turn. 
which I mean that's what last cannons are for to really spike high damage on uh, big monsters like this. Yeah. It's 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 gonna be rough bringing Mortarian in games uh, when the meta is so heavy on like glass cannons and missile launchers. But he does go down, and that's gonna give you three extra victory points, which puts you at what does that put you at actually? One, two, three. So four, five, six plus three. Plus three, yeah. So you're at nine. You'll be at nine to my five, and at this point I can't really get my objectives. So. With that, I will say good game. Thank you good for the game. game. Thank you for coming down from Montreal. And yeah, yeah, thank you for having me. I'll give you that awkward left hand hand. Thank sure, you. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I was fun. I had fun time bringing Mortarian for the first time. Uh, he, I was very afraid. He, well, he, 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 he's a monster in combat. Quite, yeah. quite, quite a monster. I missed um, what could have cost me, the, not really cost me the game, but missing his host of plagues on it your would, turns. It would have hurt the Devastators, I think, more. Yeah. And perhaps uh, to the, the guys, the tactical marines that were here. So Yeah, because this, it's a, this is a big bubble. Way. It's a 7-inch bubble. So it's like a 14-inch 14, uh, 14 threat range. It could have killed off that squad. The biker, too. I mean, yeah. it didn't end up mattering with the defending right. the objective. Well, that would have been two extra points for you, too, right? Yeah, but yeah. It, it still could have changed some things. Could have done more damage there. Could have wounded these guys a little bit. Re you know, really just saving the damage that was on Mortarian for the most part there. But that's what the Devastator squad's for, is to hunt down things like that or Magnus. Mm -hmm. Just like, without them, then these kind of guys would run around the battlefield with no challenge at all. The Toughness 7 is really a, a, what well, changes it. Because I, I thought, like you said, it, it he probably should be Toughness. Yes. I, mean, I feel like he should have been. With Nurgle? He is the Demon, Primar Demon Primarch Prince of Nurgle, of the Death Guard. Yeah. I feel like he should have been Toughness 8. I don't yeah. write the rules for the game, so I don't know the balance. But he's the same Toughness as Magnus. Okay. So... Him and, putting him and Magnus on the same level for toughness doesn't really make sense to me. But then again, toughness eight is a little much. All of a sudden, that's Bolter's wounding him on sixes. Mm -hmm. All, like That was probably the, the thing that pushed it too far. Bolter's wounding him on sixes might have been too much. Yeah. Other than that, missile launchers are still on fours. Las cannons are still on threes. It, it enforces the fact that you need to have Las cannons to kill this guy. But it was a pretty good game. I had a rough start, for sure. Uh, being the initiative being stolen, you had the initial strike. And then my made that terrible mistake of shooting my <laughs> my lord first. Yeah. If I had not shot the lord, the lord, the lord first, I would have overcharged everything else. Probably would have killed the razorback, and then my lord would have been alive to not have to shoot the razorback. Yeah. So I would have had my lord and the backup helping out. But that was a big mistake on my part. So I had to own up to that one. That was terrible. I will not do that again. <laughs> Lessons learned, indeed. Yeah. That and I think one thing that really turned around too is when you like turn two. When you started moving everything up here, yeah, and just started knocking some stuff down, and that's like it turned into a very, very even game. Yeah. So I came up here. I kind of won this side until the drop pods came down. I had to reinforce the back there with my plague marines, which eventually got wiped out. But they, like it was like a no winner over there. Mm -hmm. Nobody came out on top. And then over here, it took a bit until turn three when it started swinging my way. Uh, when Mortarian really got into combat, killed the dreadnought, and then over here killed these guys. But he needs to be in combat on like turn two, you know. Like he needs he, to be in the back yeah. lines, like in your enemy's lines, exactly. dealing out that seven inch bubble of, yeah. of minus toughness. And if he's in combat, he deals mortal wounds and like, exactly. he just needs to be close. So what I'm going to do next time when I bring Mortarian is I'll give him Miasma of Pestilence and he'll just keep casting it on himself. Yeah. Minus one to hit him is more than enough to make anyone not want to yeah. shoot make at him. Make him survivable until he gets in there yeah. and then... So it's going to be Miasma of Pestilence minus one to hit him and... Uh, that's probably my biggest change. I'll take off the Blades of Putrefication because I was useless on them. I was just kind of like randomly throwing. I was, it took us a while to set up, so I kind of randomly threw the spells. But next time will be Miasma of Pestilence, followed by the Playcaster with the other spell. Anyways, guys, hope you guys liked the game. I'm sorry I did miss a couple of things with Mortarian. It wasn't too much. It was just a couple of rounds of Host of Plagues, which is probably his biggest built-in ability. But uh, you will see him again next time. I, I might bring more Tarion next game. I'm, it's either that or Typhus and a lot of Pox Walkers. Cool. So I'll decide that one for you guys uh, probably tomorrow, I think, on that one. Anyways, guys, hope you guys like the game and happy Wargaming. I've jumped into the second game. I'm already set up, as you can see, but it's going to be my Death Guard with Mortarion facing a very large Imperial Guards list with some conscripts. Now, if you're not a vault member and you want to check out this game, all you have to do is click on the link in the description below to sign yourself up for a seven day free trial, get you access to this game, all of our other eighth edition games and our codex reviews, not to mention our fantasy coverage, our age of Sigmar coverage and our 
big, big amount of narrative campaigns. A big amount of narrative campaigns. 